Hi, it's Maura Gamble from Our Permaculture Life and the Permaculture Education Institute and welcome to my Live at Five. Instead of being out in the garden today, I've decided to come inside and have a look at something that we can do using some of the scraps that we have from our kitchen. And today I'm going to look at how to make um, apple cider vinegar from home. Now, apple cider vinegar, you probably, many of you use, use it every day in all different sorts of things from making um, vinaigrettes and marinades or starting your day out with a, a warm drink with some of it in there. You can add it to soups to bring out the flavour. You can um, turn, put it into um, water to help when you're poaching eggs and, and all different sorts of things. So, But it's not just the kitchen that we use the apple cider vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar, you know, young people, um, I recommend just to put a little bit on a, on a cotton tip and then um, put it on acne. Um, if you want to wash out any products that are in your hair, you can just do a, um, a, a hair rinse after you've done a shampoo. Put some in with some um, just some warm water and a, maybe three parts of water to one part apple cider vinegar and then just wash that through your hair. Just make sure you don't get it in your eyes. And it, it's, it's a great detangler as well. And it can help if you've got dandruff. It helps to um, get rid of that too. So, so many uses. Oh, and also as a cleaner. Now... The thing is that this is something that's been around since the time of the Babylonians and the Phoenicians. It's an ancient thing. It's kind of like um, it's soured apple wine and it is so, imp so simple to make. So you can either make it from crushed apples, but the way we make it is by, by taking the scraps. So, you know, the peels and the cores and all that kind of bits that we, you know, that sometimes you might eat, but typically it's the stuff that gets thrown away. And Possibly you end up in the compost or the worms, which is not a bad thing, but you can also make your apple cider vinegar. So this has been sitting on my bench top here um, for about four weeks now. So we put in a whole lot of um, scraps of, of the apples, then um, covered it over with water and then put in a few spoons of sugar and just left it. And over time, it's just kind of broken up a bit and settled down. It started to create um, the mother as well so that you can see that floating on the top. So all I need to do now is to strain it. So I've just got a, a jar that I'm going to put it in and um, a funnel and a bit of cheesecloth and I'm just going to strain that through Oh gosh it smells great so we'll just let that go. So now um, sort of do the second stage of fermentation from here. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to squeeze that in a bit, get all the lovely juices out. So now, I'll just put that back in there for a minute. There we are. There's the apple cider vinegar. Now, you might like to make a bit of um, fire cider as well, which is something that's really good to help with coughs and colds and to, you know, immune booster. So I've got some of the turmeric that I got from the garden, so we can peel that back and clean that up and chop it and leave it in. Some ginger as well and some, some chilies. So we can just chop that all up, pop that in, and just get another bit of um, the cheesecloth and keep it over the top and, and put it aside for another couple of weeks and then strain it again and it's ready to go. So it takes a little while, but it's kind of nice to have a few of these things on the go up in the shelves in your pantry to have a couple of different things like kombucha going or apple cider vinegar and it's kind of just a set and forget thing for a couple of weeks um, and then come back to it and this is going to last for ages so some of that's going to go into a, a cleaner for the house some of it's going to go into the bathroom for my hair and uh, some of it will stay in the kitchen and we'll probably use it mostly to add into our beautiful vegetable soups that we make and our vinaigrettes for our lovely salads from the garden. So I hope that's been helpful and um, give it a go. It's such an easy thing to do and uh, you know an abundance of really valuable products that you can make by just using food scraps. All right catch again tomorrow at five and uh, don't forget to look down for the links below on some of the extra free resources I've got about how to set up your garden and also what is permaculture so my new four-part permaculture series. All right I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.